Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Overhealing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of the Twin Flames, okay? So all of the Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculine Love. If you in any way at all identify as a twin and twin and twin ninja, then this reading is for Jewel, alright? Now keep in mind guys, it is a general, so not every reading will resonate with everyone. Take what messages are for you and leave what messages are not for those who it belongs to. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to anybody who is new and welcome back to anybody who is returning. We have obstacles. Okay. So currently dealing with obstacles, being told to let go. Okay. You're getting the signs everywhere. Okay. You're getting the signs everywhere. It's time to let it go. What people need to understand too and realize about the twin flame journey is that the more you try to hold on to it or the more you try to smother someone or whatever the case may be, the more you're going to push that person away or the least likely you are to manifest your desired outcome, all right? So I always say just let people be, you get what I'm saying? Let the situation be, let things naturally take place. Don't try to force it, right? And that's what we're seeing here. Somebody might be being met with resistance non-stop with these obstacles, getting signs back to back, okay? And at this point, your spirit guides are telling you, let it go. Let us work it out. Let it work itself out in divine timing, all right? Obstacle says, look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. That's what you're trying to do. Signs, watching out for signs leading you to true love. Let go, all right? Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing okay so maybe some of you got a test okay because the most recent twin flame reading that i did all right mentioned being tested all right maybe you guys got some sort of test you failed the test you feel guilty about it okay <laughs> because guilt is the underlying energy here and it says don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness okay so some of you might have failed a test now you feel guilty let us see let us see spirit what is the situation i'm gonna go <clears throat> with these cards here thank you spirit what is the situation somebody could have had a karmic test all right let us see. All right, we have children and pretending. Okay. Hmm. If this person is not younger than you, okay, <clears throat> that's what it feels like, though. This feels like this could be someone who's younger than you who maybe just isn't in a position in life where they want to be or something like that, okay? So your feelings, they come and go for this person. They're not consistent because of that. Maybe their age is one of the things that gets in the way. It's an obstacle. It's a block for you. It's a challenge. But this person, they're fascinated by you. You let them go. They keep coming back. Okay. You let them go. They keep coming back. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, we have the done card. Okay. So this wouldn't be the first time, whoever I'm talking to, that you tried to walk away from this person. We have cleansing here. Okay, yeah, you try to cleanse their energy, and then here we go. They pop up on you, all right? That's what I'm seeing in a very unexpected way. So whether this is in the physical, they pop up on you, like literally where you bees at, <laughs> or in the spiritual, they pop up on you during your meditation. You get what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, anytime you try to discard them, here they go, popping back into your energy. This could be, like I said, someone who's younger than you, okay? It could also be that they're immature. They might just act very childish. The things they do are ch is childish or something like that. <clears throat> Let us see. We have negotiator, okay? So this person, they come back, they beg, or they try to bargain, get in with you, where they fit in with you. But you keep trying to discard the situation, okay? We have meeting, but here they go, wanting to meet up, wanting to see you, wanting to talk, okay? Something about family here, y'all, okay? Now, maybe you have child or children with this person as well. Maybe it's just someone you were with in the past and decided, you know what? <clears throat> I can't do this due to their immaturities or due to the way that maybe they handle certain things. Maybe the, the way that they handled having child or children, you get what I'm saying? Um, 
something along those lines. You know, maybe at the time of having child or children, you grew up, this person did it. You know, sometimes that happens. <laughs> it's like sometimes if you have if you have children young, I guess, right? It's like somebody is gonna grow up because the children have to be provided for and they they know they're dependent on you and then somebody else chooses, you know, I'm not ready yet. And hey, what can you really do about that? But that's what I see here. We got this threatened energy. So someone definitely came across as a bit of a clown to you. <clears throat> Or childish and now they want to reconcile they want to come together because of this soul contract that you guys have all right and they know it's a matter of time before you find somebody else or before you walk away these are the things that i'm hearing like but here's the thing feminine for a lot of you you feel like you already have permanently walked away you feel like you're done okay um but this person and spirit are saying it might be some different energies or at least that's what this person is hoping for all right so let us see children and pretending yeah you have the divine masculine okay so in the next few days weeks and months this person is going to be coming back in and i feel like this is what they do maybe this is why the waves is in the challenge position give us more here on this wave i feel like this could be you too feminine all right yeah okay like this is their in and out type of mo with history here it's what they do okay <clears throat> It's something here about single. I want to pull it out so I can see how that's significant. Give us more here on this. Either, you know, they are or they keep telling you they are or perhaps they genuinely are here with this uh, single and magnetic. Okay, perhaps they are because they're drawn to you. All right. This is a time where, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of twins are coming into union in the physical reality. A lot of twins are coming into union. Okay. So we have hamster wheel here with this searching, surviving daily hustle. <clears throat> So some of you still feel like they're in that energy of, you know, barely getting by. That's what I'm hearing here. Because the energy of survival, like, that's that's all about a mindset. You get what I'm saying? You're either surviving or you're thriving. You're not doing both, right? So maybe this person is still in that survival mindset where, like, they're just doing whatever they have to do. And I really do feel like it's a mindset because you can look at it like you have everything you need that's more than enough. A lot of the things that you want, you get what I'm saying? It's all about your mindset. You know, like, what do you think you're living like? You know, you attract that more so to yourself, what you're thinking. So now this person is online searching for you, can't find you, I'm assuming, with this, uh, <laughs> what is this, a headband over her eyes? What is this? This is not a blindfold. <laughs> Like, is this a headband over Shorty's eyes? What is this? <laughs> we have love, okay? Because they love you, they're drawn to you, okay? They can't stay away for long. <clears throat> but every time you try to cleanse them out of your energy, here they pop back up, okay? So let us see, man. This is why, we know why, spirit. You want the receipts, you want the proof, or they want to show you the receipts. Okay. <clears throat> so this person may have told you that they would do something, did not do it. Okay, several times. Maybe this is where the pretending comes in at. All right, history, past. Okay, so maybe you're thinking history repeats itself. The person now comes towards you or toward you, and you're like, all right, are you re genuinely ready? You get what I'm saying? Are you genuinely ready? I don't think so. You could still feel like the person is immature, but they come with receipts. They come with proof. Will this change things? Hmm. Maybe that's where this negotiator card comes from. Because if I bring you the action, you know, if I'm walking it like I'm talking it, then, hey, you can't deny me. So maybe that's where this person's mindset is. Okay, so let us see. <clears throat> we have denial. Okay not facing truth or rational reasoning okay so they feel like 
<clears throat> they feel like what they have to say and what they have to offer, that, that plan that they came up with is good enough. And with intervention, it says rescue others involved. So you're thinking maybe not. You get what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're thinking that plan is good enough, but I don't think so. <laughs> That's how I'm hearing it. Okay, that might be the irrational reasoning. Where you're like, this person is trying to reason with me on something that ain't nothing to reason on you know so maybe that's where we get the irreconcilable differences okay because you're like even though me and this person are connected even though we have whatever situation we have going on because like i said some of you might have child or children with this person all right so even though you guys have whatever that situation is there you still feel like they're being completely irrational with the way that they're thinking or the way that they think this is about to go down okay one or the other so everybody's situation is different but let us see you just feel like history says and based on the notes that you've kept on this person because i feel like when i see journal this can go either way but i feel like this is you feminine right now i feel like i'm talking to a feminine who keeps notes on things you get what i'm saying now mind you love doesn't keep record of wrongdoing i just want to remind you guys of that right and if this is true genuine love then hey if the person is growing they're evolving and they're genuinely sincerely doing so then by all means give them that chance we don't know yet but if they are give them that chance right um so we have entrapment i feel like this person has other situations going on even in the event they are single or they do become single or whatever the case may be they still have child children elsewhere they still have their money having to go elsewhere they still have their strings you know strings attached to their heart elsewhere okay so that's what i'm seeing here and feminine has kept note of these things okay so maybe this is something you just cannot bargain with you cannot you know but in the near future y'all they're coming in to try to reconcile with you here because they can't stop thinking about you okay this is what they want they want this reconciliation so for the feminines there is no talk there is no action okay but it's only a matter of time because this person feels like time is running out and they have to do something that's what spirit said okay so Addie K, let us see here for our feminines i should say the twin flames so this could be the one okay hmm this could be the one attraction what are you could i feel you engagement yeah and finances and career yeah so it's like they're money strings okay this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now all right underlying energy here is chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so like i said they keep being drawn back to you magnetic okay like a magnet twins usually do that right there's this uh intense attraction where they feel like you could be the one for them but they have other situations going on situations that feminine just cannot bargain with cannot get jiggy with cannot get down with whatever you want to call it cannot rock with whatever okay what do people say nowadays i don't know okay but can't get with okay that's it that's all i know um <laughs> and so yeah that's pretty much what we're seeing here okay let's get some of these bad bidoys All right, yeah, we have X. So <laughs> feminine is like definitely given the silent treatment right now. We saw that with silence and no action. All right, and if you're not, you're always contemplating doing so. It's not saying anything. <laughs> uh, you're trying to make healthy choices. That's what it says here. You're trying to make healthy choices. And you just don't feel like this is healthy sometimes with the things that they have going on. All right. Girl talk. Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. Having fun. All right. So this is where feminine is. And I feel like from you doing this, from you raising your vibration and focusing on the woman <laughs> in the mirror. <laughs> 
because this lady here is in the um no she's not this lady here is smelling roses okay and this is talking about you know looking at yourself okay having a, a moment of self-reflection but not just that you and your twin mirroring back to each other what the other one is doing so be mindful of that because while you're irritated with them they might be annoyed with you you get what i'm saying so idk might want to think about that with this hand of cards take a chance take a risk okay mm -hmm. i don't know this person might not be showing you everything it says not showing their hand gambling okay so they have some tricks up their sleeve i'm guessing so with this engagement here you might think that certain things can't be uh, overcome. And for that obstacles card, there's plenty, plenty, plenty of obstacles here in this situation, clearly. All right. Let us see what we have going on. We got self-indulgence, okay? Focus on self. Like I said, okay, I knew that. The woman in the mirror, okay? And seduction. Something here about that now. I don't know. Somebody might have been seduced. That's how this whole thing came about. Now you're just trying to make healthy choices. Yeah, man. Somebody was seduced, and I don't think it was you. I think the third party, because it says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So that's how it goes down. Somebody was seduced by someone around them, and, you know, that's kind of how this interfered and how this entrapment came about and all this other stuff that's going on that makes feminine feel like she would rather not. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Okay, but with kisses, it says unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. But this person loves you. That keeps coming out. They feel like they're racing up, up against time because of whatever entrapment or whatever other situation they have going on. The person they were seduced by, that third party that they with, and that hamster wheel that they're on. They like feeling really guilty about these things. You know, having this chemistry and this connection, this bond with you, but having this other situation somewhere else. Both parties trying to mirror each other and make healthy choices, you know, just trying to do the best things, the right things. That's what's happening here. OK, so that's the bigger picture. That's what I'm seeing when I look at the, the whole board in its entirety. All right. So I hope that this helps you guys. If this was your message or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair grease.